So the biggest burn ever, okay? Yesterday I went to Englewood, shot the KB homes, did everything, and then I went home last night to go ahead and edit it and then lost all of the audio footage on everything. Burn. So I'm sitting there trying to edit, trying to salvage it. Can't do it. So guess where we're going? Going back to Englewood. Back to Englewood. Hey Amelia. Come on. All right, now, since it's like the coldest winter we've had in Southern California, we gotta wear these jackets. All right. Oh, I see a little. Baby. Let's go. Okay, I see you later. Bye, Linda. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Give me much. Spicy. Give me much. Mm -hmm. Another one. Mm -hmm. Oh, big buggy. Okay, I see you later, guys. Okay. Yeah, I love you. That's yeah, disgusting. Yeah. All right, babe. I'll see you later. Okay. All right, so we're on our way back over to Inglewood and get green apples. Of course, that's what we're gonna do. Get green apples. You got it. Now, Englewood is kind of like what, um, like if, uh, how do I, how do I explain? Like back in the day, right? Back in the day, Harlem used to be one of the worst places you could live in. And uh, in the Bay Area, Oakland used to be one of the worst places you could live in. But now all of these places have gotten so gentrified um, that it's like one of the more, like a really, really nice place to, to live. So we're gonna go ahead and go back over there. And the best part about that place is, is they have some of the best tacos you could possibly imagine. I'm a big taco guy, and that's the main reason why we're doing a lot of these taco reviews, but let's get out of here. I gotta get some gas and get on with it. What's up guys, Omar Broker and CEO of Alden Mortgage and Omay Realty. So we're back again because I lost all the audio in this. So hopefully I can make this as good as it was the first time, but we are at KB Homes in Inglewood, California. Let me fix this guy. And we are touring plan number 2355, KB Homes. Let's get in here and check it out. Now, before we go in, okay, before we go in 2355, um, this property, this property does not have a patio, okay? So it doesn't have like a backyard patio. Your patio is going to be actually be in front. So this is going to be the whole entire front area that you have coming all around here. Now, some of them are different. Some of them do have a back patio, but for the most part, these are built in to where they're just all gonna be towards the front area. So it comes around here in an L-shaped form, and then it comes off to the side where you have like a little side yard over here. But let's get in here and see exactly how they have this property set up. Let's do a little door here. So as soon as you walk in, you got yourself your stairs off to the right hand side and then you have the guest bedroom and your access straight to your two car garage right over there. So you're gonna come on over here and then this is going to be the first, the guest bedroom. The guest bedroom, you take this guy off here so we don't, I know I always have this on but whatever. So the first one is going to be this one right here. This guest bedroom is huge. It's actually surprisingly really, really a lot bigger than what most guest bedrooms are like. This one is probably about 15 feet across by 10 feet that way, like a 
width, I guess, right? And then you come over and then you have your full bathroom right over here. Full bathroom, sink, all that other good stuff. And then, of course, you do have your two windows. And then, you know, being this far low into the, um, into the, being this low, you always need a lot of light, a lot of light. And then this one is actually really, really cool because it has like this really almost, almost, not quite there, but almost like a, a floor to ceiling type of window. It's it's an extra, extra large building. It really, a uh, window, which is really great thing to have. And then especially if you don't like AC or you love, you know, get a fresh breeze or whatever like that, you could open this sucker up. And then you have that window over there. Now over here on this side though, just so you know, there is your AC right down there. I don't know if you can see it right over there. You have your AC. So it might get a little loud if you have your AC on, but if you don't, it's, it's perfect. You have your, and then we're gonna come on over here. You have your walk-in closet right over here. Now let's go ahead and go up the stairs and you don't, you don't need to watch me go up the stairs. Let's just cut to the, cut it. Now you get up to the top of the stairs and I've said it once and I'll say it a million times. I am such a sucker for, oh, they forgot to put the batteries in that thing. Ah, oh, I hate that. Yeah, I apologize, you're gonna hear this beeping thing. Whatever, we'll just get through it anyway. You have your little cloak closet or your shoe closet or whatever you wanna use this closet for. I don't know what people use. Whatever, my wife usually tells me what I'm supposed to use the closets for. And did you know that there's a bunch of different towels? that you could use. So the only reason why I say that is because my wife this morning, she yelled at me because there was supposed to be one towel for the windows and one towel for that. Uh, the counters, another towel for cleaning your face, another cup. Who would have thunk? Whatever, I just, that was a stupid thought that just went with my, but, but you come in and then you have this huge, little island right over here huge little island that doesn't even make sense but you have this huge island right over here and oh they have this really really cool little sink thing okay so check the sink out okay these are the best things ever on touchless sinks these things are the best especially when you when you're cooking i like to cook so i go ahead and use that a lot and then you don't want to get dirty everywhere on your sink and whatever and then you have your pantry closet right over here and then you have your uh, five burner stove right over this way. Uh, built in microwave right over here. Then you come across and then let's go ahead and check out the rest of this guy. Here you have, of course, they did a dining table right over here, right in the middle. Now for me personally, okay, for me personally, I don't like to do a circle dining table for, uh, for this little middle portion. And then this, because you, you want to get a little bit of separation, right? You want to get a little bit of separation but how cool is this, okay? So like you're right now on the island and this is what you see right here. Right there, that's what you see. You could see all the way across it, which is, which is one of the best things that you could possibly get. So the reason why I really, really like townhomes and this is the second part of it is because that whenever you have a townhome and then especially when you have any open floor layout, right? Any floor, uh, open floor layout, so like right now you're on the island and then you could go across, like you could sit there and you could mingle here and then people be over there instead of having separation and rooms and this and that and whatever. But you could sit there and you could cook, you could do whatever you can, you could entertain, people could go chill over there, everybody could hang out. It's, I personally love it. But let's go ahead and get the rest of this. Oh, of course you have your dining table right over here that you chose to do a single one. Not a big fan of it, but if this is your thing, if this is your thing, then of course get it, do your thing. These, I honestly, I never understood these nook areas, okay? Because in my mind as a guy, right, as a stupid man, I would just assume that this is where you would put your TV and then I would go ahead and put my couch right over here. But no, this is actually, I mean, people that are way smarter than me there uh, this is how you do it you do some shelving in here and this way make it look nice I mean I don't know what else you would put here but whatever then you have your living room area right over here and then they have these slat walls slat walls are, are amazing I really really like that oh so this is how they do it. they just cover the holes here and then they put the I need to get this into my office but they put the TV. So see, this is why I'm 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 the I'm the dummy. I don't I don't know any better. I would have put the TV right over there, and instead, this is where you're supposed to put it. You have yourself a couch right over here, and what I would probably do is I would probably 
I would just put a sectional down here because let's just face a sectional, they're just way more fun or may, way more uh, comfortable to go ahead and have a casual setting and it's like, it's easy, it's more comfortable that way, right? But then you have your half bathroom down here and then let's go ahead and go up the stairs. This is a three level, okay? So this is a three level and it's pointless to see me go up the stairs, but we're going up any uh, stairs anyway. Let's just get on up here. So as soon as you get up to the top of the stairs, top of the stairs, off to the right hand side, right to the hand, right hand side you have your uh, two bedrooms right over there, uh, closet right over here, right here. So this is your closet which I'm assuming this would probably be like your towel closet or whatever closet, I don't know. I always found it stupid to call a, a, a closet a specific thing. You want to use it for something, use it. You want to put junk in there, put junk in there. You want to put like the most nicest things you got in there, pop it in there, whatever. Then you have your uh, washer dryer right here. And then this is the, that's the best part, okay? So you have the washer and dryer. You have your washer and dryer right over here, which is good because you have it on this side of the house rather than where the master bedroom is because you get to annoy them. You don't have the washer and dryer running. You don't have to worry about yourself. And then plus, you can teach your kids to go ahead and just dump all their stuff over there. But we have the first bedroom right off to the right-hand side. And then this is a good size, right? Probably about a 10 by 10 bedroom. And you know, and I'll say, you have to, when you are going and buying a new development, you have to see how big these windows are and how much light goes in. And then the most important thing is, am, is my house facing east or west? Where is the sun gonna rise and where is it gonna set? Unless you just like it dark and grungy looking, then it, it really, really doesn't matter. But for the most part, I personally really, really like a lot of windows. I wanna wake up with the sun, I wanna go to sleep at the right time because you know, the melatonin and all that, I don't know the real, details of it, but that's how it's done. Then you have this Jack and Jill bathroom, which full bathroom, and then this way it's connected to the other bedroom. Now the other bedroom, it's the door right through here, so you can close it, you can do whatever. So this is gonna be the same size, it's gonna be a 10 by 10, and then you come over here, and then you have your other closet, which, oh, this is, this is actually really, really cool. So this closet, I'm gonna get in the closet, this has this little nook area right here. So you could actually build in some shelves here and you could use this to where you put your sneakers, your shoes, your, your heels or whatever it is that you wear. And then let's go on to the master bedroom and then do the last final room. Now the master bedroom, as soon as you walk in, you have like this little area where, I don't know, you put a table right here or I don't know what you would put there, but and this is a really, really good size. This is, this is not a bad size. God, this music is killing me. This is not a bad size. This is totally gonna get copyright. I'm gonna get busted for that. But this is a really, really good size. You have, it's probably about maybe 10 by 13. The downstairs room seems a little bit bigger. Maybe because it's longer and it's not as, whatever. Walk-in closet right over here. The walk-in closet is pretty, pretty good size. It's decent, like townhomes. Townhomes are good for like, you know, either growing families or they're like, you know, if your boyfriend, girlfriend, fiancés or whatever, you guys just want to go buy something or even if you want to do an Airbnb situation, whatever it is, these are good because it's low maintenance and you don't have to worry about like uh, uh, cleaning and this and that. Like if you go to like a two, three thousand uh, square foot um, home, you know how much of a pain in the ass it is to clean that big of a house? It's super annoying. But you come in like this. This bathroom right here is everything that you would need. I would go ahead, I mean, you have your shower. Bathtubs, I don't understand bathtubs. But I don't, I don't get it. I hate bathtubs, I've never used it. I have a bathtub in my house. Hasn't even been touched once. But you have your stand-up shower, his and her sink right over here, and then you have yourself, oh, the toilet. Who cares about the toilet? And uh, that's all she wrote. So let's go ahead and do a little recap on this guy and then uh, we shall go from there. <sighs> all right, so let's do a little bit of recap. So this is an Englewood, California KB Homes built it. This one is 2,355 square feet. Um, uh, HOA on this property is gonna be $194 a month and your tax rate is gonna be at one point. 4%. Now, with that 1.4%, the reason why it's at 1.4% and not your standard is because there's a, a special assessment, Mela Roos, uh tax that is entwined with it. Otherwise, your tax rate would be much less. 
Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much all she wrote. Um, and like always, if you liked the content, please like, subscribe, comment, and for up to 50% commission rebate or any mortgaging assistance, please let me help you out. Go shop around, go do whatever you can, and then come to me, say, hey, Omar, can you beat it? Because money is money at the end of the day, and if I can save you some money, that's what I'm here for. Get out of here and let's go do another, another one of these guys. I know people like the more professional ones, the professional videos, but I hate them. I think they're stupid. I think it just doesn't, it, it, it highlights nothing. Uh, and, and when I go do these things, I think this is a much, much better way to do it because this will give you the actual way of you coming inside of the house instead of me editing and then color editing and doing all of this other stuff. I hate that shit. But let's get on to the next property and uh, peace. What's up guys, Omar Broker and CEO of Alden Mortgage and Ome Realty. So we are gonna check out this other property right over here. This is Plan 2258, built by KB Homes, Inglewood, California. So like the other ones, this has actually like a front little patio area. They actually just put some, I don't know, shrubbery, I guess is what you would call it in front. But I would totally just wipe all of this out and put like concrete this and then or whatever because you don't have a patio in these uh like a backyard patio per se right uh you have your front one so if you're gonna have it might as well utilize it put some like patio chairs and whatever it is in front of it but let's get in here and check this sucker out so all right okay so as soon as you walk in so as soon as you walk in you have what's called a flex space and this is i'm not gonna lie this is actually just this is this is beautiful like this like light stuff and Sophie Bloom Photography, I don't know who that is, but whatever. Um, they made this into a flex space. Now, you see that this is open, right? This is completely open. I don't know if you could, let me take these off so I can see too. So this is completely open. Now you do have the option of putting a door in here and just making this in a guest room, but I personally love the way that this is set up. This is how it should be set up. You can make this into a, a loft area, or not a loft because loft would actually be upstairs, but like a, like, a, like a hangout room and this and that. And this way, this way, you won't be like a fat ass like me and then have a convenience of being towards where the kitchen is and then just getting up for no reason, checking what's in the fridge. The sandwich might miraculously appear and I'm like, you know, just opening, closing, opening, closing, opening, closing. You know how it goes. This way, you keep your fat ass away from upstairs and if you do get hungry and you do want to go, you can just go ahead and take the stairs and you get your workout in. But this room is about 15 feet in length, give or take by 10 feet wide and then you have a ton of lighting here as you can see this is super super bright and super open then you have your little side and then see like the side area right here it goes all the way wraps around and this goes ahead and wraps all the way around so this would actually be a nice place to just go ahead and put a patio set or do something or even like if you're going to do like a bocce ball thing just put some actual turf in there so you actually get to use what you the real estate that you have that's offered and then you have your Walk-in closet, kind of, sort of. They didn't put the things up there, so they're just making this like an extra storage room. But this is a f like a flex space, right? A flex space. So this is what it was meant for. Like, you know, you could just put a bunch of your junk in there and do whatever it is that you do. I switch my hands because my hands getting tired. And then you come across over here and then you have your half bathroom. This is gonna be your half bathroom right over here. Access to your garage right over here. And then you have your coat closet. Coat closet. Bam. Now let's go ahead and go upstairs and see what the rest of the house is going for. You don't need to see this. Let's just go ahead and skip this part. <laughs> All right. So coming up to the top of the stairs, coming up to the top of the stairs, you have your half bathroom right over here. Half bathroom. And then you have yourself another coat closet, I'm assuming. Yeah. Coat closet right over here. Put whatever you want. I guess this is like, they're trying to do this like a little pantry type of thing or whatever, but whatever. And then you come across, wow, this is, this is beautiful. This is so nice and homey and bright. If you want to get, like, you should go through all my videos if you ever want to get design ideas, which I should probably link a lot of this stuff in there and just sell it. Light bulb. All right, then we're going to come over and I like how they did the square. Um, the, see, like this is what I mean. When you have a square dining table, it gives you a little separation from there. So you have that separation. So even though it's an open floor play, uh, open layout, you still have the separation from here to there. 
And then you come in and, man, I love these couches. See, like, if you look, if you go into the previous video, right? You go to the previous video, you'll see that I said, you know, sectionals are the way to go. Sectionals are awesome, especially when you're trying to make a space comfy. If you're going for aesthetic purposes, then the world's your squirrel. Like, you're, you're, do whatever you want, you know? The world's your squirrel. Squirrels, uh, I'm just, a, uh, you're just a squirrel trying to get a nut. I don't, I'm stupid with these things. Okay, but see like how great this looks, this little sectional right over here. And then you have your nook area right here, which your TV would go into. Mount it, mount that sucker. And then, wait, I have actually this the same thing inside of my house. Um, these are like these cathedral style mirrors. Uh, we got um, ours from Pottery Barn, if anybody wants to know. I think it's Pottery Barn or CB2 or one of them, but those are, uh, they're very expensive and I mean to me it's expensive I'm not a I'm not a rich man uh, but you know so like 800 bucks for a mirror it's a little bit much even for me but whatever makes a whatever whatever keeps a happy home so you come up to the top of the stairs come up to the top of the stairs to the right hand side you have your two bedrooms two bedrooms and then you have your laundry area right here which is great because if the laundry is going you don't have to worry about the master bedroom people getting disturbed, like what we would have. You would have your kids that would get annoyed from the washer dryer go do do do. Unless you get these really cool silent ones, which are, which are great. Silent ones are, they're getting really good with these things, with these um, appliances. And then you come on over here, and then you have your first bedroom. They did this like in a little pinky. And then you have your little, uh, like a pinky type of uh, room that we have going on over here. And then we come off to the other room. And then this other room. I'm not sure exactly what that style is. I have, I have, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea what style it is. If you know, comment below, let me know. I have no idea. But I like how they made this very LA. I guess they were trying to do an LA style, of course. Los Angeles, California, and then you come across here, and then they did this this Hollywood little thing over here. And then you have your nice little closet in here. Bam, and then let's go ahead and go into the last bedroom, which is going to be the master bedroom, which I totally forgot. I'm a dummy. Um, this is the closet, or... Ah, <laughs> uh, it's a long day. This is the bathroom for the other two, for those two bedrooms. And then you have yourself a, a towel closet right over here. And then we're coming in and then we're doing the last one. At, oh, holy shit, this is, see? This is why bright rooms are a necessity, right? Look at how clean and crisp and just like, like if, like if you woke up, if you woke up and you, like this is what you do, you, you have no choice but to wake up happy because if you had it in a dark, grungy place, like of course, certain places you have to have some separation. Let me get away from that. Like certain places you have to have a separation. Like let's say for instance, you are working from home, right? Working at home, yes, totally make your office into something different because you need to switch your mind off to something else. You need to switch your mind to go ahead and get into work mode and then the house mode comes in. So just make your office a completely drastic change. Which that flex room downstairs. Make it into something completely different. Make it black, purple, whatever you, what's your favorite color, whatever you want to do. Something to tell your mind, hey, it's work time. I need to go ahead and get work. And then when you step out of the office, you can be like, oh, finally I could get out. And then it's like you get that little bit of a separation that you have going on. But we come on over and then they have this nice, this, I mean, this is a nice bed. <laughs> the room has a pretty good size. It's about, uh, let's say 12 by 12, 13 by 13, somewhere around there. And then you have your walk-in closet that's right over here. And this is a really, really good size walk-in closet. This is this is such a good size closet. You could put one of those little, um, you know, like at Bloomingdale and like those other stores that they have those little um, middle things where you can put your stuff on top of it. It's like a, a display area or whatever it is. And then finally, we are gonna go into the master bathroom. Master bathroom, cool. We have his and her sink. We have stand up shower, which thank God they don't have a tub in here. I don't, thank God they don't have a tub in here because I just don't understand. Like I have a tub in my house, we don't ever use it. Now I understand if you're like a sports person or whatever, or you're just a super like bathtubby type person. Then yeah, cool, it's it's thing. But for the most of us, we don't ever use the bathtub. It just doesn't doesn't really work for us. But then you have your towel uh, towel closet right over here to go ahead and put 
towels. I would probably put towels in underwear because you grab your towel, you clean yourself up, put your underwear down, and then you can just go and do your thing. But let's go ahead and do a recap on this property. Let's go downstairs and uh, let's figure this out. Damn. All right, so let's go ahead and do a recap on this guy, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So this is 2,258 square feet. HOA is $198 a month. Tax rate is at 1.4%. These homes currently, all of them are between 1.1 and $1.3 million. Just crazy to think that Englewood used to be like, you wouldn't dare live in Englewood. I mean, unless you get closer to the LAX area, because we are a like a stone's throw away from LAX airport. Um, it used to be like really, really, expensive over that area because you had a lot of aerospace people that lived over there and and uh but overall man this is a i will never say anything bad about a townhome i mean unless it's like burnt down and it's absolute garbage or it has separations not open but this is a great 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 layout this is awesome this is they did a really really good job kb and the majority of these new developers they always do a really really good job with it but for up to 50 percent commission rebate for any mortgaging assistance or down payment assistance or whatever, link in the description below. I'm here to just to help you. You wanna to try to find a house? I will find it for you. I will find assistance for you. You wanna do, you don't have any money down? I got you. I will find a way to where you don't have to put any money down to go ahead and pay for the house that you wanna go ahead and get. The key is, is that majority of people have this this thing where they're like, I wanna buy a house, I am tired of renting, I hate renting, and then you're moving and you're going this and that, or you're renting a place from a, a, a landlord and he's just like, you know what, forget you, I'm gonna go ahead and sell this property. And now you have to like scurry up and move. Set your roots, find something. And if you do, but it's not for everybody. Some people just like the moving, some people just like to go to new places. But if you want a little piece of your own pie, here it is. So let's go ahead and go to the next property. And if you like this comment or the content, please go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, do all of that. I know we're a fairly new YouTube channel, and um, but the, the, the whole point of this is, sorry, battery ran out, but the whole point of this is to try to help people get into the house. Now I know majority of the time that I put these ridiculously expensive homes, and for the most part, California is fairly expensive, but it's just to go ahead and get people to look because my, Forte my thing is is to help people that typically could not get into a home to have an avenue to have a path For them to get into a house if that's what you really really want to do I mainly deal in lower end stuff. I mean I'm not lower end. Okay. I take that back I uh, that, that's a horrible way to say things but like I mainly deal with 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 people which I it's not I mainly deal I enjoy dealing with people that in the world of now in the world of the real estate that we live in where everything is exorbitantly expensive that I just want to help people get into into a home if that's what you really really want to do but that said let's get on to the next property uh, and like always if you like the content just go ahead please like subscribe comment do all of that stuff help it grow out maybe somebody uh, we can help somebody out maybe get help you out Whatever we can do, we will go ahead and do it. And if I can't, I apologize, but this is not a promise to lend an MLS ID number down in 1486181. All my license information is down there, so let's get out and go to the other one. What's up guys, Omar Broker and CEO of Alden Mortgage and Ome Realty. So we are gonna be checking out KB Homes, Inglewood, California. Now I have to do an introduction on all of these because I have to split these videos up and make two another ones just in case you don't wanna watch this whole entire video. So bear with me. Okay, so this is gonna be plan 2021, which this, I hate this number, screw you 2021. 2020 and 2021, you guys could kiss my ass, but like see so this is what i meant if you go into the other property where it's all that shrubbery which is actually right next here <laughs> it's right it's right there all that shrubbery just uh, wipe it all out and do something like this uh, so like you have yourself a little patio set right over here because you don't have like a per se backyard right you don't have a per se backyard but you have this front yard where you get to utilize it but whatever you want but let's go ahead and get inside of this property and see what is going on all right so we have this other property. See, now this, this is what I meant, okay? So if you go into the other property, like everything was bright and I was talking about separation and you should make something. Now black and gold is my jam. I love black, I love gold, those are my favorite colors. So this, look at this. 
You see this? Now this is what it should be. Like this is your office space. This is what you should do. And then you come through it and then this is, this, well, this will give you a separation. So like, let's say you're in, since your house was like the one before, plan I think is 2253, and then you're in 2021. I hate saying 2021. Oh, stupid, stupid year. I mean, not really. I mean, mortgaging was really good, but whatever. Um, like this would be a good place. Like you have yourself a little nook area right over here where it's like, you know, you could put like a chair. I'll put a lazy boy chair there. You could read or whatever it is. Just jump on your iPad and do whatever. But this is great. Like this is awesome. This is what a flex, this is a flex space. This is like, and now you do have the option. You do have the option of go ahead and putting a door here. Um, and now new development, they will give you that option. But once this place is sold out, which we're really on the verge of selling out, uh, you, you don't get that option. You know, it's just, if somebody's left it open and they're wanting to sell it that way, that's just how it's going to come. And then you come over here, you have your half bathroom right downstairs. Access to your garage is right over there. And let's go ahead and go upstairs and see what's going on. <laughs> you don't need to see me go upstairs. All right, great, so we are at the top of the stairs, okay? So at the top of the stairs, as soon as you come up, you have yourself your half bathroom right over here, okay? You have your half bathroom. Now, coming in, now, okay, so the layout, of course, it's going to be great because it's that open floor plan layout and it's awesome. Now, if you go to my other videos, you'll actually see that this is what I'm talking about, like this. I don't, I don't like the way islands are like this, okay? So I like a little bit of separation. I like my island to be like this, so if I am doing something, I could look on over there and I could hang out with my people, whatever I am, I'm doing, and uh, that'll a better feel for like, you know, a little, what do they call that? Like a, a, a feng shui or whatever it is. And, uh, but I like rectangle tables. The rectangle tables are awesome because this rectangle table, whenever you have a rectangle table, that is what I'm talking about. That gives you a separation from one room, especially when you have low or uh, open floor plan layout. You wanna have separation in everything. So even though it's open, you don't want it to all be a streamlined, like a straight angle, right? You don't want it to be like that. You wanna go ahead and have it sideways. So this, I mean, it's not hard to change these around. It's very, very easy to change around. The only thing that sucks is the floors. The floors are a bitch because you know you need to redo the floors and this and that. But other than that, this, if you ever wanna change your island, if you ever wanna change out your island, it is super simple. You can actually get these pre-made. It's it's not, it doesn't take a genius to do it. It's a very, very simple thing. And then you could actually go to wholesale places and get new marble countertops or porcelain. Well, except porcelain, okay? Porcelain, you don't wanna do porcelain yourself. You wanna go ahead and have somebody do it because porcelain is extremely, let me put you guys over here and let's just do a little, um, a little insight. So countertops, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and talk about countertops real fast because countertops are really, really important because you know, most of those other videos, they don't, they don't, they don't help you understand. They don't tell you what is good and what is not to have, like what is bad. So countertops, okay? So you have ground countertops, the best countertops that you could get. And I'm talking about by resilience, okay? would be quartz. Quartz is like the best one because it doesn't stain easily, it's pretty durable, um, it, it doesn't give you a hard time with, with, with anything. If you spill on it, acid, acid, like if you're cutting limes or something or tomatoes or whatever you're doing, it won't stain or, or it won't do anything. But granite, granite does stain like a son of a gun. It is highly, I mean, it's, a, it's awesome. Without a doubt, in my personal opinion, okay, granite is the most, uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, marble, marble is, is, granite and marble, but marble is, is like my favorite. I think it's, it's beautiful. I think the way that it looks is gorgeous. I think everything about it, except it is absolutely horseshit when it comes to like durability, right? It is durable, it's just, it stains so easily. The staining sucks so bad. It always, always stains and it's, and it's impossible. Even if you seal it, even if you seal it, you're still impervious to, uh, to, to acid. Acid is gonna just completely eat through it and then you're gonna have little blotches of stains or whatever. And then if you're like us, like I'm from Afghanistan, Afghan people, we cook with a lot of different colored stuff, turmeric or whatever it is. It's just impossible. So. If you are gonna go down the porcelain route, porcelain, you could get a lot of like Carrera Marble lookalikes and this and that, but it's very, very fragile. And, and it's, I mean, once it's in, it's good, but it's the least resilient to like 
Like, let's say somebody hits it like that, right? I mean, probably not, my hand is not gonna really do anything, but like, let's say for instance, God forbid something happens where somebody drops something really, really heavy, you're working on it or whatever, if that thing's gonna break easier than anything else out there. Quartz, on the other hand, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's less expensive, it's easier to work with, you can find more people, and then finding somebody to work with porcelain is impossible. You cannot get anybody to uh, work on porcelain, but I would just randomly, you could just skip all that shit if you want to, but I thought I'd give you a little insight. But let's go ahead and get on to the rest of the tour of this house. So, fridges. Now, you hear me saying a lot about fridges and this and that. So this, you could actually go and get a fridge any height you want because they don't have cabinets. Now, a lot of these new developments, what they do is they go ahead and put all of this like uh, cabinets up there. So you have, you're, you're, you have, you're very specific with what, so you're very specific to which one that you want to go ahead and um, uh, what size fridge that you get. But if you're open like this, like see, like right here, they have. So your 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 width, you're you're stuck with the width, right? You're stuck with the width. You might have like a, an inch worth of wiggle room, but height wise, you could get as high as a fridge that you want. Now this is very important because. Fridges and a lot of these new developments too, they don't come with appliances. They do not come with appliances. So if they don't come with appliances, you might as well know what your additional costs are gonna be. Like I had to get a built-in fridge. That thing was 10,000, like $11,000. Like why does a fridge have to cost that much money when it's the same size, if not smaller than a, than a regular fridge, but whatever. Pantry, right over here. Pantry is a good size. And we're gonna go ahead and go over to this other area right over here and then we have like see this nook area i don't understand i don't i don't get it doesn't make any sense to me like i would put my tv over there i would put my tv over in that nook area instead of putting it over here but overall i mean you could you could design like this is all just like face value stuff now staging is super important let me put this guy here. Staging is super important because it gives you a visual, uh, a visual idea of what you could do, right? A visual idea of how you can make things. But visually, they could have done a better job. So let's go upstairs and check out the rest of this place. You don't need to see this. Skip. All right, at the top of the stairs, we're gonna go ahead and go off to the left-hand side. So here, we got the top of the stairs right over here. You go off to the left-hand side, and then you have your, um, God, the music is so loud. Uh, you have your washer, dryer, hookups right over here. And then you have your other bedroom. This is so loud. Why is it so loud? Whatever, well, I'm not gonna talk too much here. We're just gonna get in and get out. This is the full bathroom right over here. Now let's get on to the other side. All right, here we go. You have your uh, towel closet right over here. And then the last but not least where all the magic happens is gonna be the master bedroom. Oh my God, it's so frustrating. Master bedroom right over here. And then we're gonna come over here to the walk-in closet walk-in closet now i'm just gonna kind of just show this one just because this music is really really it's too loud it's just annoying it doesn't make any sense but let's go ahead and do a recap on this one and see what we got going on okay so review time let's a recap time okay so i only came over into this room and i have you guys lower than usual is because i just love this space and i think this is such a great space to just chill and uh i could you could work here and and whatever and this is a flex space that's downstairs as soon as you walk in so kb homes in inglewood california this one is 2221 square feet uh 2021 uh hoa is 194 dollars a tax rate here is going to be at 1.4 percent and these are ranging now every time they sell one it does increase we're at like 1.1 million dollars right now um, but if they sell another one, it's gonna go up and it's gonna go up and then the market value changes, they reassess. So hypothetically, let's just say it's between 1.1 and $1.3 million in this area right now. Now this home as a whole, is, it's, it's, it's really, really nice. It's convenient to, you know, LAX is right down the corner. Um, it's literally like maybe 15, 10, 15 minutes away from here. Like you could see the planes coming across, which these homes have these really, really thick windows, it's called dual plane windows, and those windows are really, really awesome. So for 
And then not to mention, like in this area, in the in the Englewood area, like predominantly it was known to be kind of like a sketchy area, but now it's a very, very, very nice. They did a really, really good job. It's like, you know, kind of getting gentrified. Randy's Donuts is right around the corner, which is an LA staple. Um, if you ever go in this, if you ever watch those movies where they have that big ass donut that people are driving around, I think it was also in like Gone in 60 Seconds. But that's over here. But you also have some of the best tacos ever. And then for most Southern California people, we love our tacos. And uh, and and by the way, other people should not be reviewing tacos from LA. California people are the only people allowed to review tacos, unless you're from Mexico, okay? If you're in Mexico or you're from LA, that's it. You're not allowed to talk about it. You're not allowed to touch it. And especially those people from Chicago, and like I was watching this video of this guy in Chicago and they're coming, these hipsters, and like, oh, you know what, tomatoes and cheese on pizza and this and that. No, and they're not talking about the, the Oaxaca cheese or that panela cheese that they put on there. They're talking about that, you know, that yellow cheese that they're, they're putting on, the sons of bitches. And by the way, Chicago people, you don't have pizza. That's a fucking casserole. There's no such thing. You want pizza, you go to New York and you go do it the right way. You don't go and it's like this thick, massive casserole. I don't know what you were thinking. So for that guy, for that guy, just so you know, you, you, you don't know shit. You're not allowed to do any more taco reviews here. You need to come and you need to, you need to announce yourself before you come in here to somebody who actually knows LA Street Tacos, TJ Style Tacos, any one of the tacos down here, and that goes for all of you, every single one of you. You guys wanna come here and do a taco review, you come talk to me and then we'll go ahead and go from there. But until next video, if you want up to 50% commission rebate on this property, and if you need any mortgaging assistance, especially when it comes to down payment assistance, please link in the description below. You could possibly move in into this house with zero out of pocket. You will need a reserve, Reserves will go into another video if you want you go ahead and like subscribe I'll put in like, you know mortgage requirements and all of that and I'll do it in a kind of a funner way instead of me sitting there like this like an asshole just in the back of a, an office uh, We'll do it kind of in a, in a daily vlog type of way So it'll be a little bit more fun But if you like the content, please like subscribe comment do all that shit I don't know what it is else you want from me, but next property